you know, as collectors, our collections are basically ever-changing, right? I have had runs and gone up and down with basically every toy line. Hot Toys, Vintage Collection, Black Series, Funko Pops, Legos. But recently, the biggest change in my Star Wars toy collection was that I decided to move on for my Hot Toy collecting. I only had three of them in the collection, but I just didn't have any desire to add on to that collection anytime soon. And I like seeing collections grow, progressing, all that stuff. So we cut them. We cut them. But... It didn't come without a upside. We got back in to Star Wars Vintage Collection. And I did have a very short run with Vintage Collection back in about end of 2020, early 2021. There might be some footage of that on this channel, I forget. But basically today, I'm going to show you guys my Vintage Collection haul. Only four figures, but definitely a small and fun reintroduction to collecting vintage collecting. The collecting vintage collect TVC, too much collecting. I've said that word like 20 times already. Let's just get in the video. You know, the thing about my hot toy collecting was that I told myself I was only going to do prequels and Clone Wars figures, and I did stick to that for the three figures that I had. Now that we're doing vintage collection, I really don't care. I'm just going to be jumping around and getting stuff that I think is cool. <laughs> but the first thing I have to show you today is actually something that I completely forgot about and I already had in my collection, and it was just stored away. Two, what is it, two years ago? Two years ago was the last time I took a trip to Disney World and I actually picked up a vintage collection figure why i was down there and it was this clone wars ahsoka tano mandalore figure the card is a little bit beat up and it, the beat up the the beat up whatever the damage so let's just go with that the damage came from the flight home because i had to shove this in my backpack and it got a little bent up so there is a little dent in the card right here and you'll see a little 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 bit white in the card and i listen i am very like i am very nitpicky with the cards that is one thing that i will not be overlooking when collecting vintage collection i want clean as a whistle cards i care more about the cards honestly than the figures themselves but i already had this and it's an awesome figure i love the clone wars i love ahsoka i am super excited for the show coming up in few weeks disney don't fail me this is a super cool figure that again i already had and just forgot about so it's cool to, that you know i already had a head start in recollecting vintage collection so awesome figure mandalore outfit i'm pretty sure there's another uh vintage collection like specifically clone wars ahsoka that's more like the early seasons and that outfit obviously this is the mandalore one later seasons here uh but definitely an awesome figure this is again from disney world i paid 15 dollars <laughs> for this back in 2021 so uh yeah pretty cool next two i got to show you i bought at the same time I actually bought these down in ocean city new jersey on the boardwalk uh awesome store minus the miserable that was running the store but nonetheless we have this uh arc trooper fives right here why do we I, i'm saying arc trooper fives because it's written out but it's fives man everybody loves fives this is an awesome figure i absolutely love the again i love the cards the artwork on the cards is so sick uh but this is an awesome figure man fives one of my favorite Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars characters specifically. And a guy we need a Funko Pop of, man. I'm, I'm not going to go on that whole tangent because I've done that in so many videos throughout the years here on the Rogue Nation channel. But, like, we need more Clone Wars Pops, especially Clone Troopers. And Fives definitely is on the top of that list. But this is an awesome figure, man. Literally, not even by coincidence, the night before I bought this figure, I was just watching Clone Wars episodes and I watched the episode where Fives dies. <laughs> so maybe the next day I was, like, feeling sentimental and then I saw this and had to buy it but uh yeah awesome figure man definitely some cool detail on there and uh here's the back of the box as well i got fives commander wolf who i really want to get and then just a bunch of uh awesome figures obviously i don't think this is new i don't know when the release dates on any of these were besides one that's brand new which i'm going to show at the end but yeah nonetheless they're new to me so <laughs> clone trooper uh or clone wars excuse me arc trooper fives for vintage collection can you guys tell i had a cup of coffee before filming this video we're very excited today nonetheless the next <laughs> The next figure that I picked up, along with Fives, was my man and yours, Captain Rex. One of my favorite Star Wars characters in general, but especially from the Clone Wars. Again, beautiful artwork on the card, and an absolutely awesome figure. And I had a Captain Rex hot toy. I technically, technically still do have it, but it's packed away on Macari, waiting to be sold. So if you want my Captain Rex, you can go on my Macari and buy it. But because we're getting rid of that, I had to replace Captain Rex. I don't have his Funko Pop, so we need some kind of representation in the collection. I love Rex as an awesome figure there you go side by side we got rex we got fives super awesome tandem right there and then on the back of captain rex some of the same figures uh, a couple of different ones as well uh one thing I, I am on the hunt for right now not that this darth vader on the back just reminded me um but i am on the hunt for the unmasked return of the jedi vader i definitely want to pick that up that is a super awesome vintage collection i went to 
three targets last week was unsuccessful at all of them but hopefully i find it soon <laughs> keep your fingers crossed for me but yeah we got rex we got fives let's move on to the final figure so yeah as i mentioned i went to three targets last week looking for the return of the jedi on mass vader i was unsuccessful but i did not leave one of the targets empty-handed they had the new from a fairly new from what i understand empire strikes back vintage comic art when i get the name right boba fett now there is a couple different versions uh, of these comic boba fett's i believe three one was uh just i think more based off the comic maybe the other one is as well the target i went to had two i know there's three figure comic art bobas whatever in general but i specifically went with this one since it was empire strikes back based i wasn't familiar with the comics that the other two figures were based off of and i'm not you know buying everything here but another thing that just look at the artwork on this card man if we can stay focused that would be super sick but as you guys can see we got bosk we got dengar in the background just amazing artwork here absolutely love it and it says uh and now the bounty hunters and that little pop-up right there and then just look at the paint job on the figure just absolutely obviously bringing those vibrant comic book colors to life this is an awesome boba fett i believe this ran like 20 bucks which i don't know what vintage collections usually are but i think 22 with tax uh my friend tony aka star wars sith was able to finagle target and got this for like i don't even know a buck it wasn't a buck but it was cheap <laughs> So lucky him, but I paid full price. But nonetheless, I'm happy with the purchase. Boba Fett, Comic Art. Again, there was like three different versions. My target had two. I went with this one, and I'll probably just stick with this one. But here's the Unmasked Vader, actually, on the back that I'm currently looking for. And then a bunch of other figures. I believe uh, there's the other two. Let me, go, let me go by the microphone here. The other two Boba Fett's on the back right here. But I'll be sticking with this one. Uh, hopefully I can find that Darth Vader soon, though. But definitely an awesome figure to add to my Upstart Vintage Collection collection. And now we'll put them back on the wall. So yeah, not a huge haul today, but that is my reintroduction back into the Vintage Collection. I'm very excited to collect these figures. There's a ton of figures that I have my eyes on that I want to get, but I'm not going to be rushing into them. I'm just going to buy them here and there. There is a couple that I have liked on Macari, so maybe they'll be an unboxing soon. We'll see. I definitely want to get... I'm pretty sure it's fairly new to the 501st Legion Clone Trooper on the Vintage Collection. Collection. very sick For, again i think it's new, newer at least so i definitely want to get that soon remains to be seen but anytime i get a figure i'll definitely post it on instagram at no nation vlogs i'll definitely be making a video about it so you guys can stay tuned nonetheless thank you for checking out this haul video be sure to like comment and subscribe and as i mentioned go follow me across all social medias at no nation vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next video peace This is Rogue Two. This is Rogue Two. Commander Skywalker, do you copy? This is Rogue Two.